Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Garrett 24 here bringing you another Minecraft World War 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and continuing on our theming for the Battle of Curse by building the KV-1S. The KV-1S was a part of the KV series of heavy tanks developed by the Soviet Union during World War II. Uh, the KV-1S more specifically was uh, basically designed to have a thinner and smaller uh, turret to basically reclaim some speed. Uh, by making these few adjustments, the tank achieved a top speed of 43.3 kilometers per hour, which is pretty good for a heavy tank. Um, it also, the most important feature was it featured um, all-around vision blocks on the commander's cupola, which allowed the commander to have a 360 view around the tank and give, obviously, uh, better, you know, combat performance, having to, you know, be able to be able to see basically all around the battlefield and see what you got going on there. Um, it also had a more, uh, you know, reliable transmission as well. Uh, the KV-1S was, uh, according to many, as the best of the KV tanks um, and was basically a adaption to all the problems that the predecessor designs had and the KV-1S was basically the answer to that. Uh, unfortunately, the KV-1S uh, only saw 1,300 built uh, before production ended in August 1943 and there was already modern tanks that were pretty much in sight, uh, more advanced tanks such as the T-44 an IS series of tanks they're going to be easily be able to you know to take on um, armor and would definitely outdo the KV um, series of tanks no problem um, anyways uh, this is pretty much uh, the tank the KV-1S it's uh, you know pretty pretty interesting a pretty interesting tank and it did participate in the Battle of Kursk um, I do believe it was actually the main kind of source of KV tank at the battle that and participated in it so pretty interesting as well and uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at the uh, KV-1S and see exactly what we're going to be going ahead and building. So, uh, to go ahead and start off with, uh, we have obviously the main gun, which it is equipped with the 76.2mm that the KV-1 has, I believe. I do believe it has a little bit of a longer barrel attached to it. Um, I don't think any 85s uh, were really, you know, equipped. Um, I think that there were some turrets that were upgraded with an 85mm, uh, but it was later rejected as... It just wasn't, it just wasn't, you know, plausible. It took a commander out and it reduced the crew um, to, to its, uh, you know, mass size of putting the gun inside. So uh, they decided to scrap it and get the T-3045 just kind of, you know, came up and was a solution to that, um, trying to equip tanks with heavier guns uh, for the Soviet Union. Uh, so we have the uh, turret itself as well. It's definitely different from the standard KV turret. Um, it's a little bit more rounded um, for sure. But uh, again, kind of similar in a sense. Uh, as I said, it's also a bit smaller. It's kind of really hard to represent in Minecraft the slight um, smaller size to it. But it's, you know, you can imagine that it would be a little bit smaller than the uh, bigger kind of KV-1 uh, turret. You can see the commander's cupola here with the all-around vision blocks. Um, radio antenna, coaxial machine gun located here. Also a hull mounted machine gun as well. Uh, we have the road wheels obviously on the sides here and pretty much all your track wheels uh some external fuel tanks that could be um, put on the sides there and uh just you know some back details pretty standard um chassis compared to the um other kv um, tanks that we've um, built before uh anyways that's pretty much the kv1s and what this tank is all about let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer layer one Alrighty, guys so going ahead and moving on to our first layer we'll be going ahead and starting off with layer one now for layer one what we want to do to get started is we're going to go ahead and place down a row two of nether brick half slabs this right here is going to be the start here of the right front of the track so right up here and the front of our tank is going to be basically up here in this section here we're going to have the right side that goes down here left side down this way and the back that goes across so if you're building this in a certain area make sure you guys give yourselves plenty of space to go ahead and build this tank in anyways once we have our two nether brick half slabs down we're going to, go ahead and place down two nether brick top slabs coming off those half slabs toward the front we then want to place down a row of two of green stain clay after that, followed by a stone bun on the right side. We're then going to place down a row of two of dark oak wood stairs across, followed by a second row of two of dark oak wood stairs right behind those stairs. Row of two of green stain clay across, stone bun on the right side. Uh, dark oak wood stairs again, row of two across, second row after that. Two uh, green stain clay blocks, again a stone bun on the side here. And one last time, two dark oak wood stairs across, and then two dark oak wood stairs right behind them. Two narrow brick half steps coming off those narrow bricks or those dark oak wood stairs, and two narrow brick top steps coming off those um, two narrow brick half steps. Once we have that done, we're going to take our dark oak wood uh, slabs. We're going to place down one, two, and three across of top steps from these two narrow brick top steps. This right here again is the back of the tank, and this is the front. 
Uh, up here in the front, we're going to go ahead and place down a row two, of, or sorry, row three of Dark Oak with top subs, coming off the row two of Nether Brick half subs right there. And then all we need to do now is just go ahead and fill in the middle here with some rows of Dark Oak with top subs to go ahead and complete the base of the hole of the tank. So just like that. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and take ourselves a uh, Dark Oak with fence gate. We're going to place down a Dark Oak with fence gate here on both sides of these kind of columns here of Dark Oak with top subs. And we're going to open them up like that so they look like that in the front. With that complete, we then want to go ahead and take our nether brick slabs and do the same thing we do on the air side. So I'm going to do this a little bit fast. If you guys get a little confused here, just look over at the air side of tracks. It's the exact same thing we do on the air side. And we're just going to go do the same thing over here on this side. And also, of course, don't forget your stone buttons along the side there. Once you guys have that all complete, that's going to do it for layer one. With that, let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, moving on to layer two. For layer two, we're going to start off by taking some uh, darker or narrow brick stairs. We're going to place down two narrow brick stairs on top of the two narrow brick top subs up here in the front. After we have that done, we're going to place down a row of seven here of green stained clay all the way across, followed by a wooden trap door on both sides, just like this. Once you have that done, we're then going to go ahead and take a uh, dark oak wood um, stair. We're going to place down a dark oak wood corner stair, come off these two narrow brick stairs on both sides facing in toward each other. And then we're just going to place down a dark oak wood slab right in the middle there, in between them. After that's complete, we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, green stained clay blocks on the side here. We're going to place down a nether brick top slab like so, followed by an upside down dark oak wood stair. We want to go ahead and go into our inventory real quick, grab, our, grab ourselves an um, item frame. We're going to place down an item frame on that uh, dark oak wood stair with a green stained clay block in it. We then want to place down two more nether brick top slabs going back, a upside down dark oak wood stair with a item frame on it and a green stained clay block. We're then going to place down one and two narrow brick top slabs again going back and upside down dark oak wood stair with an item frame and a green horn stink wave block uh, like that. And then a narrow brick top slab coming off this dark oak wood upside down stair. After that's all complete, we then want to go ahead and take our green stink wave blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of seven that's going to go all the way across like this with a stone bun on the end and an item frame like that. Um, and we're going to do the same thing over here on this side as well. We then want to take green stink clay and alongside the tracks right here, we're going to go ahead and take our green stink wave blocks, place down a row. Go ahead and fill in any fill in any empty space that'd be left open by the half slabs. Uh, we then want to go and just repeat the same process over here to the opposite side. So again, it's the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and kind of do this a little bit faster. Uh, so if you kind of get a little confused, fall behind, you can just look over to the other side because it's the exact same thing. Like this, our two or our three item frames and our green stain clay blocks in those item frames. Boom, just like that. So it's going to be the same there on both sides. After that's done, we're going to then take our nether brick stairs and we'll place down one and two, one and two on both sides like this. Um, then in between these uh, nether brick stairs, we're going to place down three dark oak wood stairs. An item frame over here on the left dark oak wood stair in the row of uh, three. We're going to grab ourselves a red stained glass block, put it in the item frame, and we're also going to place down a sign over it, just like that, to go and create the rear brake light. Once you have that all complete, that is going to do it for layer two. And with that, let's move on to layer three. Alrighty guys, so go ahead and move on to our next layer. We have layer three. For layer three, we're going to go ahead and start off by taking some green carpet. We're going to place down one and two green carpets on top of these two narrow brick stairs like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down two dark oak wood slabs on these two green stink blocks over here on the right side. Over here on the left side, it's a bit different. We're going to place down a nether brick half slab followed by a dark oak wood stair like so. So it's a little bit different there on both sides. Make sure you guys um, have that correct. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place a dark oak wood half slab again on both sides like so. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair uh, right here on the right side, like that, followed by a second dark oak wood stair. We're then going to place down a spruce wood plank, followed by a green hardened stankway block like that. On the uh, green hardened stankway block, we're going to have a um, end rod coming off of it, like so, for the coaxial, or the, sorry, my bad, the hull mounted machine gun. And we also want to go ahead and place down an item frame on this dark oak wood stair here with a glass block in it and also a sign to cover it up like so to create your little headlight there. After that's complete, uh, then we're just going to go and place down a dark oak wood stair here in this empty space so we have our front that goes across there. With that done, we're going to go and take our uh, green stinkway blocks. We're going to place down uh, one, two, and uh, three across like this. We then want to grab ourselves a spruce wood plank. We're going to place down a spruce wood plank here, followed by a green stinkway block to the side like that. We then just want to place down a dark oak wood stair like this on both sides. Go ahead and continue on. We're going to place down a row of five again of green stained clay all the way across, followed by a dark oak wood half slab again on both sides. Once we have that done, we can just go ahead and place down a row of one and two 
Uh, green Snake Poop Blocks going back. Same thing over here. One and two. We're going to place down a Dark Oakwood Stair. Followed by a Dark Oakwood Half Sab on the side here. Dark Oakwood Stair and a Dark Oakwood Half Sab. Just like that. After that's complete, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of five of Green Snake Clay all the way across. Followed by a... Um, this right here is where you guys can kind of put the uh, external fuel tanks on if you guys want to. If not, you're just going to kind of do a repeating pattern of the Dark Oakwood Stair. Dark Oakwood Half Slab. Dark Oakwood Stair. Dark Oakwood Half Slab going all the way back. Uh, but if you want to do the uh, uh, fuel tanks on the side here, which I do recommend, just adds a little bit more detail to the build. Uh, we're just going to place down two shulker boxes that are basically uh, kind of, you know, basically going in toward each other, I guess, is the way to say it. Um, so we're going to go and do this and do that. So it looks something just like that. Uh, and then we're just going to place down a dark oakwood stair again, both sides. We're going to do the same thing with the shulker boxes one more time. So like this, same thing over here on this side. Just like that, again, for your external fuel tanks. After that's complete, we're going to place down a green carpet on the ner on the uh, ner brick stair on both sides, just like that. Now, filling in this inside section, it's overall pretty simple. We're just going to place down a green stinkway block here on both sides, followed by a green stinkway block here in the middle. And we just want to go and take these bros back two more. So one and two, one and two, one and two. So we have these uh, basically these slits here of three. Uh, in those uh, spaces, we're going to place down one, two, and three. Snow brick stairs and same thing over here, one, two, and three. Stone brick stairs going back. On this back section here, we're going to place down a dark oakwood stair, come off those three rows here of green stained clay. In between those rows, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a spruce wood plank. We're going to place down a spruce wood plank um, in between those uh, dark oakwood stairs. And all across the back here, we're just going to place down a row of five here of dark oakwood slabs. Once you have that all done, that's going to do it for layer three. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer four. All right, guys, so go ahead and move on to layer four. Real quickly, kind of before we do, I want to go ahead and make one quick adjustment. Um, this section here, we need to actually go ahead and place a nice spruce wood plank directly behind this dark oakwood stair. So just go ahead and make that small adjustment there. It's really nothing that big, but, you know, just a little adjustment that, um, you know, adds an additional hatch on the top there, which is kind of uh, needed. So just go and throw that on, and we're pretty much, you know, good to continue on. So um, anyways, once we get to this point here, uh, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a dark oakwood fence post on top of this dark oakwood stair right up here in the front for the radio antenna. After we have that complete, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a uh, upside down uh, dark oakwood stair on top of this green stained clay block. We then want to place down a dark oakwood corner stair upside down, coming off both sides like that. Uh, we're then going to place down a dark oakwood top stab, coming off the center dark oakwood stair. And we're also going to go ahead and place down a zombie head on top of this um, dark oakwood stair right like that. Uh, we're going to grab ourselves a stone button. Uh, we're going to place down a stone button uh, right here on top of this green stained clay block like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a green stinkway block here in the middle on the back of this stair, followed by a dark oakwood corner stair on both sides like that. After that, we're going to place down a row of three of green stinkway all the way across, a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. Uh, we then want to place down a row of five of green stinkway all the way across, followed by a row of three of dark oakwood stairs upside down coming off the center three blocks toward the back, and also a dark oakwood upside down corner stair coming off the both sides here of the row. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oakwood top slabs, so you get something that kind of looks like that for the base there of the turret. Uh, we then want to place down a dark oakwood slab on top of this um, this green stain clay block right here, so just like that. Oops, not like that, like that. And then we're going to just, and then we're just going to place down two zombie heads on top of those two stone brick stairs, followed by two stone buns on top of these spruce wood planks. Also, one thing I kind of forgot to throw on, it's just a little addition you guys can choose to put on if you guys want to, it kind of shows a little bit of variation in which you're able to kind of add on to the sides over the fenders if you want to. Um, I just put like a little uh, kind of equipment box or something right here on the side here. So just a spruce wood plank, a sign, and a wooden pressure plate on top of it. Again, you don't really need to put that on. It's just, you know, something there to add a little bit more extra detail to it and kind of break up the, you know, symmetri symmetry, I guess, a little bit and also just the, you know, overall look of it so if you want to add something on like that you can add like some you know sandbags stuff like that whatever you guys want to do just kind of break it up a little bit feel free to go ahead and experiment with that a little bit uh, but anyways that's going to do it for layer four let's move on to layer five all right guys so go ahead and move on to layer five for layer five what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off placing down a dark oakwood stair on top of this dark oakwood upside down stair we're then going to place down a nether brick corner stair on both sides of this dark oakwood stair coming off the dark oakwood stair in the middle we're going to place down one two three four and five uh dark oakwood half slabs coming off of it we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a end rod we're going to place down an end rod over here on the right side corner stair like that for the coaxial machine gun with that complete we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oakwood corner stair coming off these two corner stairs right here and then a green stain clay block right in the middle after that's done we're going to place down a row of three of green stain clay 
fall by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides like that. After that's done, we're going to place down another row of three of green stain clay. Actually, my bad, it's going to be a row of two with a spruce wood plank over here on the right side. And then we're just going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall again on both sides. After that's complete, continuing on, we're going to place down a row of three of green stain clay across, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. We're also going to go and place down a dark oak wood stair, come off the middle green stain clay block, followed by a corner stair on the right side, and a green stain clay block over on the left side. Coming off that green stain clay block, we're also going to place down an end rod, come off the back there for a rear mounted machine gun. Um, once we have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for layer 5. And actually, one last thing uh, we want to go and throw in is an, an, an iron bar on top of this uh, dark oak wood fence post. With that done, that's going to do it for layer 5. With that, we're going to move on to our last final layers. Layer 6, 7, and 8. We're going to put the rest of the antenna in on in the top of the turret. Anyways, let's, with that, let's go and move on to our last final layers. Alright guys, moving on to our last final layers. We're going to go ahead and start off with uh, basically layers 6 for 8. We're going to finish this build off. So, uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to this um, antenna right here. We're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 more iron bars going up just like that for the radio antenna. Continuing on, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, spruce wood slab on top of this green stinkly block like so. We're then going to place down zombie heads basically surrounding the uh, mossy cobblestone wall just like that for the commander's cupola. After that's done we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this corner stair followed by a uh, stone bun on top of this spruce wood plank here followed by a zombie head at about a 45 degree angle kind of coming off like that for one of those little um, uh, kind of optic boxes or vision boxes um, uh, blocks, whatever they call them, around the cupola. And we're just going to place down a stone bun right here on this green stain clay block. Once we have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for the KV-1S. Actually, one last addition is we're going to break this green stain clay block here in the middle and place down a mossy cobblestone wall, stuff that I forgot to do in the previous uh, layer. Anyways, uh, once you guys have that all done, that's going to basically do it for the KV-1S heavy tank. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this build and can enjoy the continuation of our theme week for the Battle of Kursk. Um, if you guys do have use this design, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This main thing from a side of the build, tweak my channel or this video if this does appear to be social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting this type of content. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever project, projects you guys are working on. And that guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Megara204 and I'll see you guys next time.